Today we're going to learn how to make an object project points instance from the direction of the normal of its faces. So let's see. Let's the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes, create a new profile. I'm going to close this panel and we are going to use a plane, but I'm going to start creating outside. So let's go to add mesh plane and let's drag this plane inside the geometry nodes. I'm going to lock geometry nodes here and hide this. Let's connect this here. And now what I want is to select relative. So if I move the original plane, the copy, the geometry nodes, follow the change. So let's select relative. Now what I want is to project a point from the center of this face, of this grid. So to do this, we need two geometries. So let's use join geometry. So here we can see the plane. And now we are going to convert this plane in a single point. So let's use instance on points and connect it here. And let's use, for example, UV sphere. Let's make it smaller. However, I don't want four spheres. I want one only for this plane. So what we're going to do is to use mesh to points. This is going to convert the mesh to the points. And if I leave it like that, it seems that it's the same. That's true because it's converting the mesh to the points based in vertices. And this do the same, but only apply instance to points. So basically, when we use a mesh, the points are the vertices. However, here we can say, I don't want you to convert the mesh to points in vertices. I want you to add points in edges. So now we have points in edges. Or we can say, please do it in faces. And now we have a single point in the middle of the face. That's what I wanted to achieve. And with this is converting this point in an instance. That's why we have only one instance. Okay, perfect. Now the interesting part. How we can move this in the normal direction of this face. Remember the normal direction is the perpendicular line of a face. So I want to move this object in this direction. So to do this, we need the normal of this face. So let's move this instance, this object, this point. So let's add set position here. So we can move it in any axis. But we need to use in offset the normal of this object. So in theory, if you select normal, let's see if it works. To see if this works, we need to add here vector math scale to scale this normal direction. And if we try to do this, doesn't work. Why? We are using the normal, but the normal of the point. The problem that we have here is that we lose the normal of this object because we converted the mesh to points. So now this is using the normal of the point, not of the face. We need to use the normal of the face. So what we have to do is to capture here the normal before it's converted to points. We, for example, capture attribute. So let's go into here and select vector because a normal is a vector. And here we need to connect this to say, hey, can you capture the attribute normal of this mesh and from the face? And now here in the output is giving the normal of this face. So if we connect it directly here, it should work. Now we cannot see it because I increased this. So if I say zero, it's here. And if I increase this, you can check that now it's moving in the normal of this plane because we capture the normal of the object before being converted to points. And with this, basically, we are scaling this normal. So this is the way to animate an object being projected from a face. Now, if we use another object, for example, let's use an icosphere, and instead of this plane, I select the icosphere, 
let's delete the plane. Now we have instance in every phase. Remember, because this is adding a point in the center of a phase. Thanks to this. If we don't use this and we use directly instance on points, is adding points instance to the vertices. But thanks to this, it's adding in the middle. So now we can use this to project these points from the center of every face of this object. For example, now let's use a Susan. Let's get the echo sphere and select here this object. And now you can see that every face have a point. And thanks to this, we are projecting this point in the normal direction of all the faces. Now, if you want to use an object created inside geometry nodes, it's the same. Let's delete this. I'm going to delete Susan and close this panel. And let's create, for example, a simple grid. So let's connect it here and connect it here to see it. So now we have four points because we have more vertices. So if you want one single point, you need to select this number of vertices. Now, another thing I want to tell you, if you want to project more points, but not like a grid, what I mean so perfectly aligned like these ones, what you can do instead of using this, is to add distribute points on faces. And this distribute points on faces more randomly, as you can see. So for example, if I increase this, I will have more points. I'm going to select zero. So you can see all the points that we are creating. And I can add more points. And now with this, I can push these points in the normal of this face. So it's another way to have more points randomly and to animate it in this direction. And remember, you can do this with any object. For example, let's create an echo sphere. Let's connect it here and let's connect it here. Let's select zero. And as you can see, thanks to distribute points on faces, I'm adding more random points in the faces. I'm going to add more subdivisions. So you can see better. And now I have like an ecosphere projecting all these random points. So for example, you could do like an explosion if you want. You could hide this one and select zero. Actually, if you subtract the radius, so minus one, all the points now are together. And we could animate this. I'm going to show again the timeline and let's create a keyframe and go for example I don't know something like that and create this animation and insert another keyframe so we have this animation if you want you could just continue animating this more far away so let's delete this and I don't know do something like that insert a keyframe and move it in the end. And let's see it. We could do it a bit bigger, something like this. We have this really cool effect. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more on my Patreon and see you in the next video.